Hello everyone, I am Kali Selvi, Assistant Professor, CAC Department, R&D Engineering College. Now we are going to see about function call in C++ language. function call before describing about the function call first you have to know what is mean by function function is a set of task that is assigned by a program to be completed so that can be assigned either by the predefined set of tasks where we can say it as a primitive functions or a user can define his own uh, own set of tasks that should be completed for example addition of two numbers uh, Fibonacci series, recursive uh, functions. So you have made many types of functions. So we are defined. The user is defining its own work to be done. So that is called as a user-defined function. So in user-defined function, you have two types of function call. One is call by value, and another one is call by reference. Call by value means the actual parameters is copied to the formal parameters. In other words, we can say it as the value that we are going to use in the function call will be passed by the as a copy. So a function will have three parts. First one is function definition part. We can say it as a function uh, declaration part. We can say it as a function declaration or a function prototype. Just a framework we will defining the return type, function name and the set of parameters. And it can be the declaration part can be either in the same area or it can be beyond the main function. Once we have declared a function, you can have the definition part that can be defined either in the same before the main or it can be done after the main. And the function call is just calling that function. Like a name, how we are calling a person, we are going to call a function. That is called a function call. So you, in that function call only, you have two types, call by value and call by reference. If you are doing by call by value method, the function call will have some set of parameters, right? So that parameters will be just copied to the function definition part. Only the value will get copied. And whatever the change we have done in the main uh, in the function part will not be reflected in the main function. This is called function definition uh, declaration part, or we can say it as a function prototype. Here there are two. Two, two parameters passed as uh, in the swap function here is the de defini definition part so like using third uh, variable we are swapping two numbers so the value initially it will set with 10 and 20 so if you are printing a print of statement here it will print as 10 and 20 only so here after swapping I have done here it will be printed 20 and 10 but if you are going to give a print of statement after the swapping this is called function call after the swapping function it will print 10 and 20 not 20 and 10 because whatever swapping work is done will be valid only within this function definition part not beyond that one just your value will get copied see here first initially 10 and 20 and after swapping within the swapping function it will print as 20 and 10 the same value content if you are going to print uh, give the print of statement after the function call it will give us 10 and 20 next is call by reference 
if you want the value to be changed in the original content whatever the function is doing a work that will be saved in the original location also in that case we will call by reference that is the address of that variable will be passed and whatever the change is done to that variable will be replicated in the memory location see here you will be having the ambassador symbol initially start with the header file and we have the swap function here this is called the function prototype you have two parameters asterisk means you are going to use only the value of that variable so here you will be using asterisk in call by reference the function prototype will have asterisk symbol in call by value won't have this asterisk symbol and next is you have two values a equal to 10 b equal to 20 then if you are giving print up here it will print a equal to 10 b equal to 20 that is before swapping values in the main function now if you now we are going to do a function call this statement is called function call that is you are just calling the function name the name of that function is swap and here the major difference between call by value and call by reference is here you will give a here you give the address so ampersand symbol is used so here you give the address and next this from the control will go from here to here here you have the function definition part so asterisk a asterisk b using a te temporary variable we are doing the swapping and now here if you are printing it will print a equal to 20 b equal to 10 whatever the changes you have done to a and b will be stored in the location the same value will be stored in the location because address is passed next is here if you are giving the print of statement it will give it it will print as a equal to 10 b equal to 20 as per call by value method it will print here a equal to 10 b equal to 20 but in reference method it will change it will print the swap value a equal to 20 b equal to 10 before before swapping the values in main a equal to 10 b equal to 20 after swapping that is this set of lines will get printed from the fun swap function in that case it will print a equal to 20 b equal to 10 after swapping in the main function if you are giving so this line will be printed after the function call in that case it will print a equal to 20 b equal to 10 so this is both are the very very simple example for call by value and call by reference so if you want the basic need for this type of function is if the user wants a fun wants to utilize a copy of that value in some other task it will go for call by value for example uh, employee details if you take the employee details uh, employee name employee address that will be stored in the main function and he wa the user wants to utilize the uh, data a copy of the data in his function he go for call by value for example if the same uh, if your program wants to change the Uh, salary of that employee so once it is changed wherever the function method using that variable the updated salary should be there in that case it go for call by reference so based upon the 
use it uh, the change will be done what are whatever the type of the usage based upon the two types the function calls can be used